We started in 2017. See how long it takes to deliver a Toyota back here. Yeah. <laughs> From 2017 to 2022. And you thank Pupkewitz for that? But it's not Pupkewitz who is the wrong. It is our administrative processes that, that actually failed us. And I'm happy that we are getting um, some wind on our wings now and we, we are starting to delivery. But I just want to put on record that we are not very happy that it takes five years to deliver cars that are not even manufactured here. You just order it and they come. The Timo Murillo abattoir is now fully functional and we are actually exporting meat from that abattoir not only to Ghana, so we have managed to penetrate the African market. We are on the verge of signing an agreement with Angola and with the DRC. But we are also eating that meat in Windhoek now. So we have, we have opened the market because of the assistance in part that helps us to implement that strict regime that induces now no risk to the disease-free zone when we consume that meat. But it brings about a benefit to the farmers. These 11 uh, four by four vehicles are part of the livestock support program, a more than 350 million Namibian dollar flagship program of the European Union and the Ministry of Agriculture, Water and Land Reform under the 11th European Development Fund, targeting the livestock sector development in the northern communal areas of Namibia.